Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting question. So this time we have two tables called one is called transactions and one is the second table is called friends. So in the transaction table you have columns user ID, post ID and day. So basically this is a social media data. Uh, assume we are dealing with Facebook data. So you have multiple users and there are multiple posts. So if a user engages with a post, say whether the user likes a post or comments or shares, so whatever, if the user engages with the post, a transaction will be created in that table. So if you see, each and every user has some uh, engagement with some of the some or the other posts on a particular day. And the second table is called friends. So user ID one and user one ID and user two ID. So these are friends. So one user ID one and user ID two are friends. So now the question is we need to find recommendations uh, we need to provide recommendations to the users to make them friends suppose user id 1 and 2 are friends so we need to provide recommendations to user id 1 saying um, user id 3 can be your friend 4 can also be your friend and 5 can also be your friend so to each and every user we have to provide recommendations so the lo the formula or the logic which is required is the problem here it is so each and every user uh, should be having uh, three or more posts on the same day. So that means user ID 1 should engage with three or more posts on the same day. Uh, and similarly, user ID 2 uh, sh uh, you should engage with three or more posts on the same day. So the, suppose if there are, if the post ID, I mean if the engagement with the particular post ID on the same day, if, the, if there are more than three posts having uh, engagement on the same day between multiple users, we need to provide recommendation to those users. So here in this example, user ID 1 has uh, engagement with 100, 110 and 120 posts on 25th of March. And user ID 3 has also engagement with 100, 110 and 120 on 25th of March. So here, both these users are having uh, uh, engagement with the same post, which are where the count of posts is more than 3. And this engagement is also on the same day. So basically here, user ID 1 should get recommendation of user ID 3. And similarly, if you see for user ID 4, user ID 4 has engagement with 100, 110 and 130. So here only two of them are matching with user ID 1 and 120 and 130 are different. So user ID 4 should not be recommended to user ID 1 because the rule is there should be three or more posts uh, that should be uh, common between both the users. And similarly, for user ID 5, 100, 110 and 120, the post is matching but user ID 5 will not be recommended because the days are different here okay so same thing now user id 2 will be also be uh, recommended user id 3 because they have the same posts and there are three or more number of posts and on the same day so and the same way uh, yeah user id 2 will be recommended with user id 3 at the same way user id 3 also should be recommended user id 1 and user id 2 so that is the input so user id 1 is uh, recommended uh, user id 3 and user ID 2 is also recommended user ID 3 and user ID 3 is recommended 1 and 3 is recommended 2. But if you see here user ID 1 and 2 are also having the same post on the same day. But that should not be included in the output because they are already friends. So if there are already friends, uh, recommendation should not be made. So hope you all understood the question. So now let's go back to SQL Server Studio and see how to solve this using SQL. So as discussed, uh, these are the tables. Uh, transactions tables we have user id post id and day and also friend table you have user 1 id and user 2 id okay and you have this input insert into friend and all so let's see this input so if you see user id 1 post id and all so now what we'll do now let's write a simple join uh, simple left join so select from transactions a in a join transactions b on a dot so now let's make sure that we join all the users uh, in a single join where the post id and day is common so that means a dot post underscore id is equal to b dot post underscore id and a dot day is equal to b dot day and just try to select star and let's see what is the output so if you see a lot, we have we have got a lot of rows around 45 rows, and uh, if you see a lot of rows, one user ID one 
is again having in uh, joined with user id 1 so let's we have to filter out this rows where uh, the a a dot user id and b dot user id should not be same okay so and a dot user id is not equal to b dot user id okay so in that way we will be joining only with uh, only with different users okay so one is joined with two one is joined with three one is joined with four and for this 100 post and for similarly for 110 post we are again one is joined with two three four and so on okay but now we in, as you, if you remember we need to uh, filter out the friends so left join friend f1 on f a dot user id is equal to f1 dot user 1 id and a dot user id is equal to f2 f1 dot user 2 id okay so now if we run this let's see what we're getting i'm doing a left join so that uh, okay uh, nothing we are getting for some reason okay i think here i have written a dot use, i think it should be b dot user id so if i run this yeah if you see user id 1 and user id 2 these rows should be eliminated so we have to filter out the rows where a dot user 1 id uh, sorry yeah a dot user 1 id and uh, this b dot user 1 id should not be present in this uh, friends table so that means we have to filter out f1 dot user uh, user 1 id is null okay so how do we do that where f1 dot user 1 underscore id is null okay so if you filter out uh, that means we are filtering out all the friends data so if you, if you remember in the friends data we have only one record which is one and two uh, so there is also a reason i mean uh, one and two are friends that means two and one also we have to uh, eliminate that means uh, we have to re remove records because user id two also should not get recommendation of one because both of them are friends right so now we have to eliminate this kind of records also where uh, a dot user id is two and b dot user id is one so he, earlier we have removed a dot user id 1 and b dot user id 2 now we have to remove the reverse one reverse data so how do we do that again we perform one more left join left join friend uh, f2 on a dot user 1 user id is equal to f2 dot user 2 id and b dot user id is equal to f2 dot user 1 id okay so earlier we have joined with user 1 id and user 2 id on with a and b now we are just doing the join and joining with user 2 and user 1 we are just reversing the joins okay and again f2 dot user 1 id is null okay the same way we have to remove the data where uh, a dot user 1 id is 2 and b dot user user id is 1 okay if we write in this way uh, we will be removing this data okay so now we have 24 rows from 45 rows we have reduced to 24 rows so now if you see user 1 id is uh, uh, seeing combinations with user id 3 4 3 and 4 and 2 is also seeing with 3 and 4 and 3 is also seeing with 1 2 and 4 okay so now let's take only the required columns a dot user id comma b dot user id and uh, let's do an order by order by 1 comma 2 so if you run this if you see you are getting a lot of data but user id 1 should get recommendations only if uh, there are uh, three or more posts in common so we have to filter out the data where a particular user these two user id combination uh, the number of rows should, uh, should this particular uh, combination should be greater than or equal to 3 okay because if you see here uh, in earlier when we have written uh, star so when we have written star here so here user id 1 for post 100 um, is uh, joined with user id 3 post 100 because user id 1 and user id 3 have interacted with post 100 on the same day so a user id should a user should get recommendation only if uh, both the other user the, the recommended friend and the current user are having three or more posts in common so here if you see there is no duplicated data right the user id 1 and user id 2 are uh, duplicated but the post id is different for each and every row okay so now what i will do i'll just keep only the required columns 
a dot user id user underscore id comma b dot user underscore id comma count of one as cnt i'll make sure that uh, the number of posts between both these users is greater than three group by a dot user id comma b dot user id uh, having count of one greater than or equal to three and now if i run this let's see what we're getting so now if you see you are getting user id three and user id one th three two one three and one two so this is the required output so now let's remove count also from here because you only want only user ids so now if you run this this is what we get so user id three is getting suggestion of user id one user id three is getting suggestion of user id two one is getting suggestion id of three and two is also getting suggestion id of three so this is the required output which we want so hope you all understood the question and also the explanation so if you like this please click on the like button and if you click on subscribe button you will get more videos in the notifications thank you have a nice day